Lesson 9.2b, Finding the Area of a Circle. So for your notes, the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. It's pi times this radius squared. Area is equal to pi times radius squared. To find the area of any circle, we can use the formula a equals pi r squared. If we're given the diameter instead of the radius, we'll first need to divide the diameter by 2, since a diameter is 2 times the radius. We would have to divide the diameter by 2, we'd get the radius, and then we square it. So if the diameter is 10, the radius is 5. A sugar cookie recipe calls for the dough to be rolled out and for circles to be cut from the dough. The cookie cutter has a radius of 3 centimeters. Find the area of the top of the cookie once it is cut. Use 3.14 for pi. So here's our area formula for a circle. A equals pi r squared. We're going to substitute in the values. We know the radius is 3, so we have 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, we do 3.14 times 9, and we get 28 and 26 hundredths centimeters squared. Because this was in centimeters, so we use the approximate symbol, because we're not using pi symbol, which represents all the digits of pi, we're approximating it to be about 3.14, so we need to use that approximate symbol, and we write the units, centimeters, and the area is given in square units. So the area of the top of the cut cookie is 28.26 centimeters squared. So do you notice we did 3 squared first to get 9? We follow the order of operations. We do exponents first. And we have these in parentheses to separate the 3 squared from the 3.14, but technically this is an exponent. So we do the exponent, then we multiply or divide from left to right, and we have multiplication. There's no addition and subtraction, so we skip that step, and we get the 28.26 centimeters squared. So remember to count the jumps for the decimal point. We don't always use calculators. I prefer you to use the longhand multiplication so you get more practice, but there's two jumps in 3.14, so we're going to have two jumps in the product. We can check our answer by finding the square of the radius, then multiplying by 3 for pi. And pi is approximated as 3.14, so using 3 to estimate the product will be close to the actual product. We got 28.26. And if we just did the 9 times 3, we'd get 27. That's a very close estimate. So we know that this is reasonable because it's very close to our estimate. We found that the area of the top of the cookie is 28 and 26 hundredths centimeters squared. What would the area be if we doubled the radius? Well, the radius was 3 centimeters. We did 3 squared, we got 9, we multiplied it by 3.14 and approximately got 28.26 centimeters squared. Well, if we doubled the radius, we're going to double the radius, and the radius was 3, so now we're going to do 6 squared, which is 6 times 6, which is 36. Look, we had a 9 here, and when we doubled the radius, now we have a 36 here. It's now 4 times greater than 9. And when we multiply 3.14 times 36, we get 113 and 4 hundredths. So it would be 113 and 4 hundredths centimeters squared. Now look, if we did 28.26 times 4, we get 113.04. So if we double the radius, the area will quadruple. Isn't that something? It will be 4 times greater. So if you remember when we did the top of the cookie, we got 28 and 26 hundredths centimeters squared. 
Well, since the length of the radius is squared in the formula for the area of a circle, squaring this length is the reason that the units for area are squared. So if we had an actual square and we had seven centimeters going across and seven centimeters going for height, we would do seven times seven, which is seven squared. There would be 49 squares here. Well, we could even do the same thing for a circle. If we put a grid on a circle, if we added up all the full squares, so here's a full one, here's a full one, here's a full one, see the full ones? And the partial ones, so we've got some partial ones around the edges, don't we? If we added up all the full and partial squares, we'd have the area of this circle. The plastic lid of a container of coffee has a diameter of 5 and 5 tenths inches. What is the area of the lid to the nearest hundredth? Well, first of all, we don't have the radius, do we? We have the diameter. So we know we can do 5.5 divided by 2 to get the radius. That's 2.75. So now we can do radius squared. We have 2.75 squared. We multiply 2.75 times 2.75, and we get 7.5625. Now we need to multiply that to 3.14. And I decided to do it on a calculator because there's quite a few steps here. So it's to the nearest hundredth. Well, that would be the 4, and this 6 is telling the 4 to round up. So we're going to round it up to a 5. We have 23.75. So we... Substitute the values into the formula, finding the radius. We squared the radius, and we multiplied by 3.14. And we know that the plastic lid of that coffee container has an area of 23 and 75 hundredths inches squared. Okay, we're finished with 9.2b. We're moving on to the last part of 9.2. We're going to be finding the relationship between circumference and area. Just remember to cut that diameter in half because we're doing the radius squared. I hope the rest of your day is great, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.